um, I just wanted to go ahead and make this review video for you and I hope it works out okay. Uh, congratulations on making it through uh, almost a whole week of geometry and I'm going to show you what's on this quiz. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, hopefully, uh, is create some lines. Why? Because we're going to have some intersecting lines. That's a rock color to put on purple, you dork. That's just two intersecting lines, right? That's pretty cool. Go away. Now, on these lines, these lines are going to be labeled, right? Um, let's give this line a, an A lowercase a, and we'll label this line lowercase b, right? Because remember, that's what we did. Um, and then we'll put points on these lines. Uh, your, t your quiz will have a point here, a point here, and a point here, and two more random points. We'll do that. And we'll way out here. And we'll give them uppercase letter designations, right? We'll call this point, um, I'll go ahead and start with ABC again, A, we'll call this one B, C, D, and E. And it probably, probably D and E would be switched on, on your test, but I think you'll survive. Question one. Question one. What is one here? We'll say one. Uh, let me change the color, sorry. One. What's another Another, it's going to take me longer to write this. Another name for, uh, let's say line B. Line B. So what would be another name for this line? Remember, we could name lines by their lowercase letter designation. So here's line B, that's this line right here that contains E, B, and D. So if we wanted to go ahead and name this line, we could say it's E, B. And then we'd put the line over it and don't forget the arrows. Okay? That's it. Could we call it E, D? Absolutely. Could we call it BD? Of course we can. Can we go backward? Absolutely. I don't mind. Just give me two letters of points on that line and put an arrow over it and you've answered number one. Number two is too simple. It says What's the, it, what's the point of intersection? What point is at the intersection of A and B? Line A and line B, right? And that would be point B here. That's, this is where they intersect. I hope to the Lord above that you don't need me to write that out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and erase this. I hope you don't mind it. Okay. And then we'll move on to the next question. Great. Um, question number three. Name, name three Collinear points. Collinear points. Hmm. 
Well, there are three collinear points on line A, and there are three collinear points on line B. You could either say ABC or EBD, right? If you change the order and say BCA or CAB or CBA, I'm great as long as we see that it's C, B, and A. That's line A right there. If we want to look at the other one, we say, okay, well, how about E, B, and D? That's an answer. You're done. Good. The next question asks about the length of a line segment that is sitting on top of a ruler. Please, please, please don't ask me to put that on there. We went through it. All you have to do is look at the ruler and give me that line segment's length. It's not difficult. I know you can do it. The next one, you're going to be given a line segment. Oh, I lied. All right. Well, let's do this one first. I have a line segment. Uh, it has an end. some point on the line and another end. So these are, this is one total line segment or two separate line segments. And your question is, what is the total length of this line segment? What is the total length of line, let's say, um, X, Y? Z. If, if, what is the length of XZ? Line segment, no arrows on the end. Um, if the length of XY is 4.1. And YZ is 6.3. Well, all you do is add these two things together. XZ equals XY plus YZ. Yeah, line segment, line segment. Sorry about the drawing. It's not perfect, but I think you're getting the idea. Um, so let's start substituting numbers. Uh, we said that XY is 4.1. And we're going to add to it 6.3. And that's going to equal x, z. Now 4.1 plus 6.3 is 10.4 or 10 and 4 tenths. And now we've got it. Pretty cool. Isn't that great? Um, if they don't give you the line segment, um, I think the question in, in, on the quiz itself doesn't give you the line segment. It just lists, and I'll show it to you. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of the line segment. What if? What if you're not given the line segment? Oh, no. Mr. Sokol, I'll never be able to do this. I lied to you. You will be able to do it. Um, there we go. So it says... Uh, 
x z equals 4.1. Uh, sorry, sorry. X. Ah, I made a mistake. My humanity is showing. X y is equal to 4.1, and y z is equal to 6.3. It'll look more like that. They'll give you the two values of the line segments, and, they'll, and then they'll ask, what is the length of x to z? And you'll add them together just like this. Good? Um, the next one says, uh, let's go a to c, right? But they will give you a line segment. What is ac? What is the length of ac? And so I'll put a line segment in there. That should work. I hope it does. I hope I have enough room. And let's go ahead and put our points here. End points. And let's put a point right here. Let's say 8 centimeters. Uh, who? Let's let's go with two x plus. Uh, sorry, two x minus 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 two centimeters. Now, they want to know what the total length is here. And this is not built to scale. All right? They say the total length of this is, oh man. Uh, they say the total length is, let's say, 16 centimeters. So this would be in the center, right? Because they'd both be eight centimeters. But I digress. Let's go ahead and solve. If I have the total, my total is 16 centimeters. That's gonna be equal to this plus this, right? Because if I have A and B and C, then AC is equal to AB plus AC. So I have my total is equal to this algebraic expression, 2x minus 2. Sound good? Um, plus 8. I hope this works out. I hope it's not a decimal. I apologize if it is. Oh, it works out perfectly. Great. Okay. So we're going to combine over here, right? We can do 8, negative 2, and positive 8, or plus 8, minus 2. So now we have 2x, negative 2, positive 8. That's positive 6 or 8 minus 2 is 6, equals 16. Now we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. I'm running out of room and I apologize. And that goes away. I'm going to have to rewrite to the right of it. So 10 equals 2x. Let's go ahead and rewrite it up here. 10 equals 2x. And the only thing they're asking for is the value of x. That's it. And so my next step is to divide both sides by 2. That goes away. x equals 5. And you're done. Isn't that great? 
We're getting very, very close to the end here. Let me erase this page so I can do my last two problems. So, well, the next one is just like this, only it's two separate. algebraic expressions. They, they wanted to give you one with uh, <laughs> variables on both sides. So let's say um, uh, C D is equal to uh, 4x uh, plus 2. We're going to say that, uh, I don't know, DE is equal to, let's try 13, and then let's say, sorry about the bell, the total of CD, uh, CE, the total distance is equal to, let's call it 6x, uh, la, 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 plus 5. I don't know. Let's hope this works. If not, we're all going to die. Just kidding. So, what I'm going to do is, I, if I add this one and this one, it should equal this one, right? So, what, I'll, what do I do? I put my 4x plus 2 plus 13 equals, ah, oh crap, I gave you the same answer, 6x plus 5. I'm sorry, I have a 5 on the brain for some reason. So we're going to look for x, and then we're going to solve for the whole shebang, right? So put these two things together. 2 plus 13 is 15. I can't combine it with 4x because they're not like terms. There are no x's on the back sides of these guys. So I'm going to do 4x. 2 plus 13 is plus 15 equals 6x plus 5. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. That goes away. Minus 5. Now I can rewrite 4x plus 10 equals 6x. Could I have moved the 4x first? I like to have positive uh, variables, variable values, so I would have moved the 4x if I were moving that first. Um, because if I subtract 4x from 6x, I get 2x and it's positive. So I'm going to do that next. Could I have done them both at the same time? Could I have written it out doing both at the same time? I am allowed to do that as long as I'm showing it. So this goes away. And if I subtract 4x from 6x, I get 2x. 2x equals 10. I told you. 5. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. x equals 5. Am I finished? No. Because the question asks for the entire length. Which means I can put my 5 in for x up here and get my answer. So now that I have a value for x, I'm going to plug it in here and say CE is equal to 6 times 5 plus 5, which is 30 plus 5, which is 35. Good. Keep your equations consistent. 
clean. Keep your equal signs stacked up on top of each other. Okay? Um, yeah. All right, last one. Are you excited? I'm excited that it's the last one. Because we learned about congruence, and I promise I will remind you when I see you, there's a, a funny-looking symbol for congruence. If you see that sitting on top of an equal sign, that means, that means, means congruent. And I had you guys write down what congruent means, which, which means they're the same length. Bad writing. Whew. Okay. So what they're going to say is uh, M N is congruent to N O. Right. And then they're going to say, M N is equal to five X minus two. Hope that works out, which is in turn. All right, and that N, oh, sorry, M O, M O is equal to, ah, hope this works. Don't get mad if it doesn't. Um, X. plus 10. Good? No. X plus 10. Let's make it X plus 16. There we go. That should work. I'm trying to do math in my head and it and get ahead of it because I'm making stuff up on the fly. It's very hard to make equations up on the fly. So, poop. I made a mistake. Let me fix it. 14. Now we got it. Here we go. If these two things are congruent and we add them up to get to that, just write two of them and add them together. 5x minus 2, that's mn, here's no, plus 5x minus 2. There are two of them, they're congruent, they're the same. Now, they're equal to x plus 14. Sound good? Now, we need to find, we need to find the value of x, that's all they want. Ready? Here we go. Five x plus five x is 10 x. 
minus two and minus two is minus four. And that's equal to x plus 14. I may change this for the test, but I may not. I'm gonna do the opposite of minus four. So I'm gonna add four. And then I'm going to add four. There we go. Now we have x plus 18 is equal to 10x, and we're good. Now, we're not quite good. We're going to subtract an x. We're going to add the opposite of x, or subtract x from both sides. That goes away. What's 10x minus 1x? That's 9x equals 18. We'll finish up up here. If there, 9x equals 18, and we divide both sides by 9, then x is equal to 2. If we wanted to find out how long this entire thing was, we could put the 2 in for x in this guy up here, this x plus 14 up here. 2 plus 14 is 16. We could do that. And that's it, guys. That is the end of this review. Good luck.